everyone, welcome to Eat Me Recipes. Today I'll be showing you how to make the South African delicacy, which is known as sheephead curry, also referred to as kopo curry. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below, and there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe, which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. Bring out 1 kg of sheephead or skopo. I have purchased mine already cleaned and cut. Give the sheep head a rinse and place it into a bowl. For this recipe, I'm not going to be using the tongue and brains. However, it can be added if preferred. Next, you want to peel and chop one onion. Rinse and slit two green chilies. Rinse and blend one tomato. Peel and cut two potatoes into quarters and place it into a bowl. Cover the potatoes with water to prevent it from oxidizing. To a pot on medium-high heat, you want to add in 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil. Thereafter, add in the chopped onion. Add in the slit green chilies. Add in a few sprigs of thyme. One cinnamon stick. One star aniseed, two bay leaves, one teaspoon cumin or jeera seeds, and half a teaspoon of fennel or som seeds. Mix that up well. Allow it to sauté until the onions are translucent. Once the onions are translucent, add in 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of red chili flakes, 1 teaspoon garam masala, 1 teaspoon coriander or dhania powder, half a teaspoon of cumin or jeera powder, 4 tablespoons of chili powder or masala, 1 teaspoon cardamom or ilachi powder and 2 teaspoons of ginger and garlic paste. Mix well until all the spices are combined. Thereafter, add in the rinsed sheephead. Add in salt to taste. Mix until the sheephead is coated in the spices. Cover with the lid and allow the meat to seal in the spices for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you want to give it a quick stir.
Next you want to add in the blended tomato. Add in a quarter cup of fresh coriander or dania. Add in a sprig of curry leaves. And finally add in a little boiling water. Mix well until all the ingredients are well combined. Cover with the lid and allow the meat to cook for 25 to 30 minutes. After 25 to 30 minutes, you can give the curry a stir. Poke the skin of the meat using a knife and if it goes through easily then the meat is cooked. Next you want to add in the potatoes and make sure to discard off the water that it had been resting in. Pour in some boiling water. Give it a stir and tuck the potatoes under the gravy. Cover with a lid and allow the potatoes to cook until soft. The potatoes should be nice and soft after about 10 to 15 minutes. Give the curry one last stir. Turn off the heat and garnish it with freshly chopped coriander or dania. Thereafter, you can plate and serve. You can serve the sheephead or scopo curry with rice, bread or rotis. This curry pairs perfectly with Niederberg's double barrel reserve wine. Being a foodie, I am super excited for Niederberg's new show, I'll Bring the Wine which tours South Africa in search of extraordinary interpretations of local dishes. This is what has inspired me to make the sheephead or scopo curry. Be sure to pop onto Niederberg's YouTube channel, check out their trailer and make sure to subscribe. By doing this, you could win a case of Niederberg's Double Barrel Reserve to drink along with each episode. Just a quick reminder, the quantities are in the description box below and there you will also find the direct link for the full written recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section and I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!